Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Slice and Dice and Say It With Me, one of the most underrated strategy roguelikes out there. If you've still somehow missed it, you are in for a treat. We're also going to be doing something weird and dumb today. Let's go for custom party mode. I mean, this is an interesting one. We could just uh, randomize. Custom party lets you start with any combination of heroes you want including duplicating multiple of the same class, if that's something you want to try out. And I kind of do. I kind of want to go for triple rogue, double, like, tank. I don't know. It, it seems interesting, at the very least. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that Halloween-looking son-of-a-gun of a layout up there. Uh, but it should be pretty good on DPS, I would assume, here. Uh, we have the Thief, of course, just two damage, two damage, two damage, but one of them is range, three empty sides there. Uh, I have a feeling we're gonna hit a lot of empty sides compared to normal. I, I think it's a, a big thing with the rogues, uh, more often. We have the Squire there, we have, this is one of the new ones. Uh, two times if the previously used dice also targeted the same target, so basically we can shield somebody for up to four if we already shielded them, which could be pretty handy. Or we could just use it as a double shield situation here, which I don't mind. Oh my god. Oh god, what does this do again? Increases the damage they take this turn. So, what would this give us double poison? No, but it would. It could give us a kill on the wolf, who is definitely by far the most. Uh, concerning of these. Obviously, we could kill the archer with the back line, but this is a perfect, which I don't really mind. Scoundrel's a wild one. They either have the vulnerable or a dinky little AoE. Uh, <laughs> no in-between there. I feel like we just go for DPS on, on even them. Sure, 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 sure. I mean, that's lethal already, right? Because we have, for example, boom. Now this does two damage. We got that. We have extreme lethal. Extreme lethal. Ah, gambler. So this is the top thief. So it's just the standard thief. Or we could go for the bard. Bard is... It's an interesting one. I, d I guess I don't really care about charged. <laughs> Anything that has charged is not going to be great because we don't have anybody who can generate mana right now. That's a big thing I'm, I did not think about here. Uh, the downside to this is we don't get to play with any spells. In fact, we literally have no spells aside from burst. Oh, no. Oh, no. You? Okay, you missing that one is, is a little wild. The scoundrel missing, not that wild. Uh, gambler missing, not incredibly wild. There we go. Five damage. I think we probably... Ooh. We could kill the goblin, even though the goblin's going to run away anyways. We are going to have to click these to figure out who is actually targeting who, since there are more than one orange. <laughs> so it's something that we have to care about a little bit more. Um, Sure. I guess we'll do it like this, because the, the goblin's just going to run. Yeah. We'll spread. Spread the love a little bit there. Gambler's got a lot of HP. If we could get anything that changes X's into some kind of, you know, extra valuable thing. These are all takeable. Them's all takeable. Oh, Gambler, you are... You keep coming in handy here. Look at that. Then we get a little bit of a... Uh, boom, boom. Nice and easy. Okay. Replace the uh, the two right sides with a blank and heal one regen. That seems really handy for especially like the scoundrel. So now we actually have some healing, which is interesting. Like we don't got a healer. We just got damage dealers. So we're going to be going for kind of like, oh my word, kill fast, kill often. I think we want to go for the five damage over here because it's going to be the least annoying. We kill the backline. We actually have lethal already. It's going to be, uh, we're going to take the damage from the archer and the goblin, but we do actually have, we do have lethal. Should hit the archer. Actually, never mind. We don't have to, uh, we don't even have to wait anymore. Dang, man. Dang, man. 
Ah, uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Spellblade, so we could go for a magic route. Or the ranger, giving us a nice, clean ranged attacker. Oh. I don't know. Vulnerable is a nice thing to have. I gotta go for the Spellblade, though. I have to go for the Spellblade. It, se it seems kind of interesting to, um have a character that will sort of fill that niche a little bit here. Uh, I think that'll be fun. Okay, weaken, so we can do extra damage. Ooh. I'm a gambling boogeyman. Oh my god. Oh, I got gamblered. Snake eyes. Oh my god, he actually has a unique dialogue. And it's pretty good still. I got greedy. We could have done what? Two extra damage. Could have been nice. I, nobody's... I was going to say nobody's dying yet. That's literally just not true. Oh, come on. Am I going to chance it again? I'll have the buckle. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Jackpot. Oh, my God. They literally just actually say... Oh, that... I'm loving this, though. Plus one to the rightmost side. I mean, that's really good with regen. Plus one for each unused ally, and then they skip this turn on the top. Oh, God. There's nothing really, like, that useful here. This is really good if we roll X's, though. It also does limit us, so we have to, like... There's there's a lot of times where the order in which we use our dice is very important. Oh, we have a new enemy that we unlocked. Um, so that does give us a little bit of awkwardness there. Go for two tier zero items. What? I didn't know there were tier zero items. This is just... This is kind of boring but it's also two heal and then two heal at the end of every single turn is pretty good for now we'll use it on something else like the other one could be good so what's the chrono do two damage to the topmost enemy when you cross that threshold okay so the bandit is going to be the one that takes that there Oh, come on, man. Oh, boy, see. I mean, okay. Oh, imagine. I mean, obviously, how could we have known that this turn was going to show up right here? But, like, imagine. We actually could have had uh, a three damage, three mana gain, which would have been lovely. Do we go for the crone and try and get the uh, the big AoE overflow? I think we do. Man, that stunk. Man, that stunk. Uh, two, <laughs> two times damage versus full HP targets. Not going to be that helpful for us. That's got to be the gambler. Yep. Is it is it times two? Yeah, times two. So we could imbue, which is not lethal though. Not lethal on the bandit. If we roll the two here, we could squeeze out lethal. We're gonna be able to s not save the buckle. Go. Yeah, we can save the buckle. This turn. All right, we'll chance because if we get a two or higher, we might be able to. Uh, we might be able to squeak out a lethal here. Like an overkill lethal. Right? Overkill by two? Yep. Oh, there's the statue. I don't have the tools for it. I just don't, right? I just literally don't have the tools for it. The statue... Okay, oh... It actually would have been kind of nice, in a weird way, to have that plus one now. I think we go for the Guardian now. 
I don't really like the idea of taking statue on prospect. It's just too wild. 20 health is cool. Like, it's cool to have 20 health. But what... What I mean, what am I going to do with it? Oh, we take those. We can do better. Oh, baby. Okay, so who dies first? Warchief. Warchief buffs up everybody. Okay, so they all do one less damage now. Pretty substantial. I'm liking this team. It's pretty aggro. Who would have thought? I mean, duh is the answer, but like... Uh, I mean, yeah, that's enough to save us in the worst of case scenarios. We're just looking for DPS here. <laughs> Clumsy hammer. Replace the top side with four damage heavy eliminate. They must have both the most and the least HP. Or at the start of a turn, the turn self shield for one. It's kind of boring. Cannot be re-rolled. Plus one to all sides. Plus one to all sides. I'd be leaning towards Spellblade on that one for sure. I think we can make that. I, can, I think we can make that justification. Everything the Spellblade does is just kind of like... It's just kind of a nice thing. It's not ridiculous, it's not crazy, it's just kind of a nice thing. Uh, if we can kill one, we'll kill one that's attacking the Guardian and we'll be okay. This one we'll kill. I think we have the tools to do it right now. Am I wrong? Like, let's just check this first. Um... We do that. We can even do this. Um, I feel like we can do better than that for some reason. I feel like we. I feel like we can. If we go for like a um, bing, bang, boom. Where's that AoE going? Yeah, it's kind of awkward to do that. Uh, Scoundrel's taking that there. I think it's fine. I think we just go for it. We could obviously imbue. That's the thought. So we would go for... AoE. This does extra. So we actually want to do this first... Then this, then we imbue, then this does four, then this does two. God dang, man. Okay, and then we can double regen on that. That's pretty cool. Double regen, look at that. It completely neutralizes, it nullifies the uh, the double poison. I would love to find cleanse at some point, that is for sure. Huge jackpot, indeed. I just want to go aggro for this. Weaken into that is pretty fun. We have leap bottom away. Why I bother? Aggro as hell. There's the statue again. I, on prospect though. On prospect though. I'd rather take the ranger. As much as I have enjoyed what the ranger or the other character had to offer, like we might as well just do this instead, right? Uh, so, ranged attacks avoid on-hit passives, which is nice. I don't think it avoids proccing things here. This has worked out fantastically, by the way. Like, this move is great. would be great to have uh, four damage. Two poison, don't get me started. Uh, two mana is, is, I guess, the weak roll. And it's pretty good for a weak roll. It's a pretty good weak roll. I don't know if we want to hit the AoE there. That's incredible. I think 
we have all kinds of lethal action here. The question is what we want to stop. One damage to all enemies. I mean, I think we maybe do that. Oops, hold on. That first. Scary, obviously. Okay. Three damage to the topmost. Three damage to the bottommost. Oh my god! I love it! Oh, this... Uh, god, we are gonna be hard countered by something. We're gonna be hard ca... Oh, wow. Hard countered by something. Don't know what it is yet. That's not really for me to uh, to care about yet. And then we have the five extra damage. We don't even have anything to do with. Keep unused shields upon death. Gain four mana. Oh, keep unused shields would be fun with that other one. But I think I'd rather get three tier one items right now. Plus one to the leftmost side. Cannot be locked. Set max HP to six. That's not that relevant. Immune to shields plus two max HP. Ay, ay, ay. Um... This is obviously fantastic, because I, I can't re-roll anyways, but now it's three poison. Max HP to six. You're the only one who that's relevant for. Immune to shields, two max HP. I don't think we care about that right now. We have two things that make it so the Spellblade can't re-roll. Wait. Can't be re-rolled, can't be locked. What does that mean? So, okay, so it's the same thing, except... <laughs> Wait, is it going to just make it so the final one is the one we accept? I th think that might be the case. Really weird. Uh, wait a minute, what? <laughs> it hard locks us in? Okay, well that's obviously not something we can accept. The good news is I think we have um, lethal anyways here. And not lethal, but like, I think we'll be fine anyways, but that is, um, I, yeah, I misread it. It's, they both cannot be rolled and cannot be locked. So like, I have to hit done rolling. Weird. All right, we're obviously gonna <laughs> we're obviously gonna take that off. Cannot be locked. Must reroll. Can't reroll. Must reroll. Okay, we have to go for the cleric. Uh, I also, first of all, like, I don't want two guardians because it's boring to have two of the exact same thing. Six max HP doesn't really matter. Part of me wants to just move this over here. Since they're more likely to be doing the defensive thing anyways, and we're more likely to want to lock or uh, use the ranger aggressively. Holy crap. Whoa. What a roll, what a roll, what a mighty big roll. Protect yourself there. Okay, so seven damage exert. Okay. Would it be better to just kill? Nah. This is wild, but both fanatics are unable to attack now this turn. Thank God. Okay. 
Good. Good. Uh, honestly, good. Live a little. Good enough for me. Live a little. I'm a gambling boogeyman. Hey. I'll take it. Okay. So we go for that. We go for that. Big heal over time. Not bad. We saved the burst, I assume. Okay. So you are attacking the middle. Oh, this is fantastic. This is just fantastic. There's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong here. Uh, so we go for. Who cares? Who cares? Just gotta do two damage to the next turn. Could I have squeaked out lethal? Maybe. If they weren't at full H or if they were at full HP, like it would have been a different story. I can't believe how like spell how great Spellblade is. Plus one max HP. Replace the rightmost side with stun an enemy with equal or less HP than you. It's really good. Uh, whiskey could be really fun. Cleric does not have a particularly high amount of HP. I think maybe we keep the ranger with it, right? The ranger would have a pretty good amount of HP. Like, I'd want to put it on the cleric in a way, but... I mean, the whiskey is tempting. If we could have both... That's a different story. I just don't have enough healing for whiskey to be that good. Like, obviously, this is really nice. We have a little bit of healing there, but I think we go for fearless, and I guess we'll drop it on... The ranger? Ranger? Maybe the gambler. Okay, weird stuff here, but we have multiple ways to do four damage. Okay, that's one way to do four damage to a zombie. Huge. Uh, boy. You're attacking there, you're attacking the top. I mean, I don't want either, obviously, but hey, there we go. Bada bing, bada bow. Do we? Possibly just do this. We save the burst. We'll save the burst, or potentially we'll want to use the uh, imbue or whatever. Because I don't know if the slimelet's even going to roll an attack. They did. So we still have the two mana. It's not like we failed something there. Okay. Um, imbue AoE could be okay. Heal, heal. Okay. Fine there. It's tricky, but we're fine there. We take that. I'm going for the... Oh, I was kind of hoping for the AoE. Oh, well. I could still try. I think that's worth... Heal self, AoE shielding on, I guess, over here. New slimelet just dropped. Again, still kind of dreaming over here that we'll get um, a four damage, like the, the the this move here or the gambler's attack. Cleric's taking a, a disgusting smacking, but there we go. That's That's that. We've done it. We've got lethal. We got so much lethal. We've got so much lethal. Ooh, Ludus. Ludus versus Gambler just being like, hello, I just do so much damage. He's, he's literally, I'm you, but so much better. The Paladin looks like they'd be great to have too, but Ludus is literally just... Incredible gambler. I think 
that's okay. I'd rather have it there. Ah, the lich. In 25 minutes. We're actually, we're going pretty quick here today. It makes sense. This is a full aggro team. Huge. Uh, huge. Huge. If I could have got the freaking, the freaking back line, imagine. I think we actually just... I think we take literally everything. You're attacking the Ludus. Okay, good. We attack that one. Okay. Sure. It's weird. I really wish that poison could have hit the lich. Ah, oh, this triple spawn. And you're doing a double spawn again? Oh. A double spawn, not a triple spawn. A little bit of backline smackage. We'll take this for sure. That's probably okay. And by that, I mean I probably have to. Ludus, thank you. Thank God. Who's hitting Ludus? You. I mean, I'll I'll snipe that actually. God, I really wish I could sneak that into the back line so bad. Or even or this. I like. I literally just. I can't hit you. And guess what? More skeletons! We're doing a little bit of stray damage. Okay, here comes the AoE Weaken, which I actually think is not too bad for us. Three damage when we have a cleave like that, I think is okay. I think we actually I think we keep everything. I love it. Even if we spawn more of it. Good. The triple. Just getting that out of the way. All right, triple weaken. It's gonna be rough. Like, uh, uh more skeletons. Two more skeletons. That's still two damage. I think we accept that. Um. It's the clear. That's actually enough for a stun. We have a stun and a kill. We don't really need this. What am I fishing for? I guess the heal. Which I actually don't even think we could do much of anything with. Uh, but if we have that into that into that, nothing really matters there. We save burst. Here's more skeletons! Even more skeletons! Thank God. All right, we could snipe the back line. This is a, it's huge. This is... Oh, what a turn, actually. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind, man. I'm gonna lose my mind. I mean, the Lich is slowly, slowly, and hear me when I say slowly dying. Huge. Like, I could snipe that back line. It could be good. Um, is there anything worth cleansing? I don't know. What, what would I rather have? The stun? Stun, stun shield? I don't think I'd rather have the mana. I, will, I would love this. That's huge. I, at this point, I just don't even know that I accept. I think I just accept that. Okay. We could go for the Lich. I think we need to... We need to play defensively by playing aggressively. Like, we do one damage to the Lich for every unit we kill as well. Actually... It'll still give us two mana. It does. You have double healing, so I guess I don't care too much. What am I doing? 
waving. Okay. We're, we're getting there. I keep hitting my knee on the desk. We're getting there. I mean, it's the best I can really do. I think this is actually pretty acceptable. Actually. Is there a way to do this? Wait, there is. It's burst, then... No. No, there is not. Ah, you jerk. Maybe there is? Wait, I think there is. Am I missing... Am I, am I missing something? I think I'm missing something. Do that. And then, no, yeah, we got it. We hit with this, and then we hit with that. The ordering was just bad. I don't know what I was thinking there. Ordering was just bad. Thank God. Uh, complete any 30 achievements, unlock two heroes. The twin. There is a copy of me who benefits from my items. What the hell? Mimic. My top side is a copy of the top he hero's top side. And the same for my bottom. That's so fun. It's so fun. Add single use and error to the right side. So basically if there's moves that you don't want to use very often. Um, but you want them to get slowly stronger. I wouldn't mind that on the Ludus. Oh, mark vulnerable. They take two damage and they take plus two damage from dice and spells. Considering we have so much aggro, learning that spell Oh, yeah, that's right. We have to equip it to somebody, technically. Just put it on anybody. Is It's in incredible, basically. This The downside of that. I mean, it's a level one item. Of course, the downside is going to be pretty bad. All right, this is, this is scary. This is very scary. need more need more from you too I think I'll take it okay um I think we kill a snake unless we do a um overkill kill the bandit but can we protect ourselves here I feel like we probably can we can keep ourselves alive for sure Ludus is going to be taking lots of poison. I think it's acceptable to get two units killed on the first turn. I think it's a fine trade-off. Why you got to go for the Ludus like that? Why you do this? Why you do this to the Ludus? I think we just lock all that. question is maybe, like, should we... We should maybe take this and imbue... So what's that? On hit six damage. <laughs> A little extra. I think we maybe could have done that turn slightly better, but we obviously win. Assassin. Is this single use? Yeah, three damage single use poison. Uh, I mean, it's got some... Ooh. Two ranged engages? Mimic, though? Oh. 
Shield 3 duplicate. Copy this onto all ally sides this turn. Hmm. Shield 2 copycat. Copy all keywords from the previously used dice this turn. Engage does work with it. Mana gain works with it. Poison probably, unfortunately, does work with it, too. I mean, that's kind of fun, but the assassin... I'm trying to think of what else I could get here that would work. Like, this this just fills in the gap of what we want the ranger to be so, so bad that I'm going to go for that. That just fills in that gap perfectly for me. Um, like, triple poison is so good, too. It's so, 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 so good. Hmm. That might, that might be worth it. Kill the sniper? Who snipes the sniper? On hit, turn the attacking side into stone. Could we... No, I, I was, we could have imbued the assassins to get this extra attack there. I mean, this is messy. This is messy. I don't like what's going to be happening to the Spellblade. The Ludus is at least going to be able to heal up, like, uh, a lot from that really good heal. Okay. Nobody's even dying this turn. We're great. We're golden. Nah. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, we could get a kill there, but, like, I'm just trying to think. What would this look like? I don't know. I think that might be good enough. I think that's good enough. Obviously, it's it's annoying that we're going to have sto oh, stone uh, stuff, but I just don't really care too much. Should have kept in view, I think. If we get lucky, we get the stun. Man, we have like such a small amount of healing, but it's so powerful. I can only imagine this is enough. Burst plus plus. Forget burst, learn burst plus. Add steel to the middle the middle left side. Oh my god, spell blade. Steel is broken. Like it's kind of kinda of busted. If we put it on uh, Cruel, that could be really good. It could be basically, if if a boss is under half health, they die. Is basically what that would mean. This would be, if a boss or an enemy has full health, they die. Or not they die, but like, you know what I'm saying. It, 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 it takes a wild amount of damage. Um, I think that's inherently a little bit more usable. I'll take Anvil. I just think Anvil's great. I just think it's neat. Thorn, what is this? On hit, damage the attacker for five. Immune to spells. We need bows. We just need the bow for that stuff. Oh, God. Five? Is it... So you're at least attacking the Ludus. Who's attacking the... You're attacking the Guardian, so you... You both are doing that. Two damage, petrify, or four damage, eliminate. Uh. Wait, man. So, five damage. So we could actually, if we shield the Ludus, we could kill both of these. Who are attacking the Guardian? 
Well, this already cleanses the, the, um, petrify. I think we're fine. You would die. <laughs> you would die in a heartbeat. Okay, saved. But like, do we need to go that all in there? Two sides petrified. Maybe I'd rather save the Ludus from that. Let me get that hit there. Save you from damage that way. Because this we can't do. We can't can't do that. God, we ha we do hate slate. Hate the spell blade being such low HP there, and of course the double uh, the double problems. If we hit the the cleanse that we do. I mean, this is gonna be bad. Just don't don't get me wrong. This is, this is gonna suck. Uh, extra poison doesn't matter against slate. It's it's irrelevant, uh, so we don't need to save that for imbue. That I'll take though. Does this count as a hit? It does. Immune to spells, right? Yeah. What if? Oh, it's a kill next turn. That's just not worth. Is it? Maybe it is. Somebody's going to die this turn, I think. Is there a world where we save the Ludus? Yeah, we can save the Ludus. So Spellblade has to die. So maybe we take out the Thorn. Maybe we take him out with the Thorn then. Nah, we save it for the Assassin. It's the best I got, I think. It's the best I got. I think we have to lose the Spellblade. Fingers crossed on rolling a ranged attack. Oof. Very oof. Ah, less oof. Still oof. But less. Wait, what are you doing? You're attacking the assassin? It's not as important. Oh no. Oh no. We lose one no matter what. So we might as well lose one and then get that. Oh, that's rough. Stone Revenge, kill five slates. So yeah, that's what we hate. Oh my god, a second assassin? Valkyrie. See, Valkyrie, when you don't have a healer, is pretty tantalizing. Yes. Oh, shoot, it's an X. Oh, that's right. Oh, no. I thought that, ah. Uh, I thought that, ah. Uh, oh, no. I don't really want to put that on the healer. Do we save that instead of the revives? Do we... Maybe that's... Ah, uh, maybe it's fine anyways. Revive the top two is good, but I don't know if it's as good as the healing. Oh, shoot. I forgot it wasn't just slot in. I forgot it was an X and then a heal. Genuinely, I think this is better. I, I actually... Actually do. We don't really want to let people die. Oh, boy. He's in the front line, though. Very poisonable. Huge. I tried. No dying for you. Hmm. 
It's not for this. It's because I don't want to take three damage every part of the turn forever. We might be able to kill with the stray AoE, though. Who has... Wait, who has AoE anymore? I don't think we have AoE anymore. We don't. So this is the only way to kill the archer before killing everything else. This, I honestly think, just goes to the slate. Like, why... Why mess with anything else there? Uh, we could imbue... I'd rather save that for poison. Four damage. It would effectively just do two because of the Troll King's passive. So I will I will do this because just getting them out of the way sounds nice. Oof. Oof. We can stun the slate. That's nice. That's really nice. This is a two, that's a two damage AOE. Okay. Um, yeah, stun the slate. Oh, we can't unless. Oh my god. What is this here? Oh, I forgot it has steel. It's not relevant right now. Unless. But yeah, I can't stun with the cleric unless we do a little bit of finagling. Is equal? Equal or less HP? So theoretically, could we do this? Okay, we'd have to do that and then we'd have to... We'd have to like waste there. Oh, God. It's a freaking bloodbath, man. Okay, so that we don't waste the heal. We'd have to waste the heal if we want to get the slate. If we don't get the slate, then way more people die. We buff up this or buff up this? I mean, this we probably buff up this because it's already single. It's like it's single use, and the poison lasts for a lot longer. But we still want to do this first and then that. Oh God, this is no good. Come on, Valkyrie. We actually want those. Wait, we can't get them. We can't get the revives. I swapped it. I. S Excuse me. Save somebody's life uh, for whatever it's worth there. We can't do anything about your move. Yo, move! Um, Valkyrie's not going to be able to keep themselves alive forever here. Uh, there's two faces that we'd prefer, this one and this one, so I guess I just chance it. I hate everything. Okay. Ooh, boy, we lose. We lose, actually. We actually just lose here. We got, uh, we got got by an extraordinary amount of, uh, of cleave. That's what kills us. We, we, f we figured out what our counter is. An exorbitant amount of cleave. Seven cleave damage. Uh, two turns in a row. Who would have thought seven cleave damage two turns in a row would actually potentially cause uh, a problem? I guess we save the Valkyrie because Death Wish could help us. And in that case, we actually need to kill the Slate. I should have kept that other move. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Nothing we can do. Death Wish doesn't save us here even. We literally just roll this forever, I guess. It's, there's no way. It's actually literally impossible. The slate has no moves that won't kill us. I mean, it would be really satisfying to see the Troll King die, though. And then get the slate down to 1 HP. It'd be a satisfying thing to see. 
Like, as much as that's... A f yeah, all right, we're dead. Oh. I thought it was, like, use it until it saves. Uh, we could have killed the Troll King. But I wanted to obviously kill the Troll King and then get the one damage on the slate just because uh, for kicks and wiggles. That'd be fun to look at there. Oh, that's a bummer. That is a large, large bummer. An incredible, like, showing and run, though. Uh, empty Grave. Plus three empty max HP can add adds cantrip and to all pain sides. Oh my god. <laughs> adds cantrip to all pain sides? Anything that... So basically pain is whenever you roll it, it deals that much damage to you. Um... What would you roll that on? Berserker? <laughs> Berserker with like that um, safety bone or whatever the heck you call it. I think that that'd be sort of the thing there. Either way. Uh, what a what a shame. What a cry in shame. Um, yeah, what, what would I have done differently? I mean, like keeping a little bit more cleave shielding. Um, I think that... In hindsight, and of course, the, the, well, here's the thing. Okay, I was going to say, in hindsight, the uh, the revive was more important than the shield or the healing. But I actually don't know if that's true. Because without the heal, without the heal, we wouldn't have been able to stun the slate on that one turn. Which, that kept three people from dying. So technically, in that fight... The net gain of the heal, like, and this is all hindsight, like, you can never, you can't, no matter what anybody would say, or any, like, any, any amount of backseating would say, you can't predict how that exactly would have gone, which one would have been better, you can't, uh, because in hindsight, it would have seemed like the revive would have been better, looking at the situation, but act in actuality, assuming that, you know, we would have rolled at the same time, because it, co it covered the same face, uh, amount of face spaces, Assuming that, uh, we actually saved more lives, technically, with that single heal than we would have brought back with the other revive. The, que the, the reason where it gets kind of shaky and sketchy is if I roll the double revive on the Valkyrie afterwards, would I have been able to win then? Maybe. Maybe. But that's all hearsay. You know, like... Uh, talking about theories about how things could have gone in an alternate world is always cool and fun and fine in the comment section and everything like that. But as long as you're not like, you know, as long as you don't use uh, hindsight into how RNG went to, you know, to dunk on me or whatever, like, uh, that's fine. Because, like, obviously, yeah, we have a lot more information now than we did uh, about how the roles went. <laughs> and we just didn't have that information before. Um, hey. Alas, alas, though. Very fun. Uh, that went way better than I thought it was going to. New mode, generate. What is that? All heroes are randomly generate? What? This is cool. These names are wild. I wonder... Did the heroes that we get in the future, are those randomly generated? This is amazing. Okay, well, this is like an infinitely replayable mode then. Like, on top of the fact that the game kind of, sort of already does feel infinitely replayable to me. Um, is quit back to the menu? That's so cool. I think I might have to try that tomorrow. Um, is this one of the new ones? Dang, man. Dang, I like that. Alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Slice and Dice. If you'd be sad to see this series go, you know what you got to do. You got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. That is the way to keep this series around. It's the way to help you to promote this to other, you know, other people on this website and thus make it easier to keep around. Have more people who are hearing me say this and thus going down in the comments and letting me know they want this and leaving likes on the video. That, like, that's just how it works. It, it kind of, it fuels itself as long as the lovely people that are here right now, you, the listener, the human being hearing me talk right now, go to uh, hit the button that is 
the I liked this button. And if you got to the end of the video, you probably thought it was at least fine. You you liked it enough to get here, so you should probably, you know, probably say, I guess I enjoyed it more than I disenjoyed it, right? Uh, so a like would be wonderful. It would help out greatly. Uh, it's it's the only thing I ask in, uh, in response to all the, like, you know, three to four free videos I put out every single day for 11 years. Just likes and comments, those are the only things. They really help. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye!